SNN's Ben Bobic joins me now, fresh off the big night at Candace. How are you feeling? A little sore. A little sore. A little, a little sore. It was a, it was a lot of fun. You kind of your the your adrenaline's pumping, so you don't think about it until you wake up the next day, and it's like, wow, maybe I did really go a little too hard. But hey, it's the big night. You had to go all in, right? Yes, and you were the youngest person to ever do this competition. It's really, was it kind of out of your comfort zone to kind of, you know, dedicate yourself to this in a community you've only been a part of for a couple of years? The dancing itself wasn't out of my comfort zone. I'm used, to, I've performed before, so that was more of like the comfortable. But what was out of my comfort zone was the fundraising, like you said, getting out there in the community, trying to meet new people, get people to donate to, to the Community AIDS Network, which does so much here locally. And you know what? It was such a learning experience on that end of it. I mean, you just, you, you really, it's really so. <laughs> so tough to fundraise and people are like oh my gosh you're so nervous to dance I'm like the dancing is the easy part it's the fundraising and it's just getting the word out there and kind of getting people to to learn more about it and understand what it is and what they do and um, I thought we did a superb job here I can't thank the SNN team enough your viewers at home who, who helped out my family back in Pittsburgh who helped it was great and you were a real crowd pleaser you had everyone clapping we wish we could go out there on the dance floor and dance along with you last night but I was at the SNN table and everyone was just so happy to see you out there breaking it down. I don't think people understood how good of a dance it was going to be. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a pretty big ego. I'll openly admit that. So I think I don't think I let anybody forget that I was going to be the best dancer on the dance floor. Obviously, I didn't bring the home of the hardware to, to show for it. But I think I did my best out there. And it was a lot of fun. I think, like you said, a lot of people were impressed. Like, you know, talk is going to go so far. I think I walked the walk as well last night. And you met a lot of friends. One of them, Donna Kaufman, who did take home both trophies. But some other guys that you didn't know before. So what was it like meeting some new people? Oh, f fabulous. And the people who I competed you know, against or I could Say with, we're just unbelievable human beings. I mean, what did they, what they've done to, to do this? I mean, and Donna, she deserved both of them because the amount of money that she raised. Clark West raised so much money. I mean, Dr. Covert. I mean, Becky. I mean, all of them who, who competed in this are just amazing people, and I'm so happy that I get to call them friends now, and I'm hoping to keep in touch with them, and maybe we can do something like this again in the future. Yes, yeah, so it was good catching up with you. Go home, ISOs, whatever is hurting on your body after that big dance, and guys, we'll see you right back here after the break.